Bull, just fuck it, cold open. WNBA Fantasy Draft 2023 version. Jacob, how you doing? I'm good, brother. How you doing? No, uh, you know, we were going to do, uh, I thought this was going to be a group activity. And then, a, well, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> and, a, and a podcast broke breaks out. So, uh, <laughs> wow, Bob did not go with the person I thought he was going to go with. AJ Wilson, of the right. Las Vegas Aces. You like that? I like it. And sure enough, uh, number two, Leon surprised me going with Brianna Stewart. I thought he was going to go somewhere else. You might get the you might get the girl that you want out there. I Jacob. doubt it, unless unless he's from. Uh, Harry said he was running a little late, so we'll see who he goes with. Uh, mm-hmm. Harry's up in Connecticut. I wonder. I think he's in Connecticut. I wonder if he's a Connecticut Sun fan. From Connecticut. From Connecticut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or if he even watches at all, I, I know he kind of uh, just joined just because he's been wanting to join one of our fantasy leagues for a while. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, I'm excited. I had we had a lot of fun last year. Oh yeah, definitely. At least I did. I know I won the championship league last of year, course. so that champ is here. <laughs> so so obviously that makes it even better, right, Jacob? <laughs> Absolutely. When you win it, you're just like, ah, oh, okay. But you were doing pretty good last year, right? Yeah, it's, injuries hit me hard. Yeah. And it was nothing you can't recover from injuries, man. It it just but I still have fun though. I like I said, I'll be back this year. Aiming for the top spot. Oh yeah. We're gonna Uh-oh. put the number Sabrina's home. Oh oh are funny. you so going number three was uh Nafisa Collier of the Minnesota Lynx going to oh, uh the auto pick there by Harry. I guess he didn't make it on time. And of course that means Jacob gets his girl, Sabrina Ionescu of the New York Liberty. How are you liking that? But I love it. Triple double threat. Give me all my stats. Her and Brianna are gonna tear it up. Her Brianna, Vandersloot, you know about her. I mean, it, yeah. New York is gonna be fun, man. It's yeah, be they have a hell of a team forming up in New York, man. That that might be. You might see Las Vegas Aces versus New York Liberty by the time it's all said and done. And I know people are kind of watching this and going, "What the hell are they talking about? Aces, Liberty, <laughs> Sky, Sun." <laughs> well, Black Cats. That who's that? Is that Angel? No, yes. that's um is is it? Oh, it's Angel Morales. Yes. Angel okay. at the plate. And yeah, we might have uh, half the league doing auto pick. And then I know Corey <laughs> said he wasn't gonna be here for too long. So uh if it gets that way where it gets too hectic, I might just turn this whole thing off and uh get going. But I am gonna enjoy my drink. I'm having a Moscow mule or I'm sorry, this one's a Bad London buddy? mule. Uh, <laughs> hey, escuchame. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, so Utah, Utah, Orlando, and he goes with Ryan Howard, not to be confused with Ryan Howard. Uh oh, we got someone joining us on the Zoom call here. In the meantime, Henry? oh, actually, Sabrina Blackcats. Who is Sabrina Blackcats? And now it says Angel's on the clock. No, Mike Harvey. Mike Harvey's going to be, sorry. Mike Harvey's on the clock. He's a soup. He named his team after Sue Bird. He's on the clock. He's going to be auto-picking. How are you doing, Harry, man? Can you hear us? Yeah, I hear you. Sorry, I'm a little late. What's going on, guys? Uh, well, you you ended up picking uh, Nafisa Collier. Do you know anything about her? No, I don't know a damn thing about her. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't even... Do you, Jacob, do you remember her from last year? I don't remember her name from last year. Vaguely. It's, uh, it's, tough. it's tough during the week, man. I tried my best to get home as fast as I could for you. No, I appreciate okay. it. Appreciate it, though. Anyway, uh, you're one of a few handful of people who showed up. So make sure you get yourself out of auto pick. So, yeah, I'm locking in now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, two seconds down from Mike Harvey to make his pick. We'll see who he ends up getting. Kelsey Plum of the Las Vegas Aces. So that's a good pick. Yeah. So that cool. means I get the girl that I wanted all along. Alyssa sure. Thomas, come on down. That's a good pick. Now it gets difficult because there are a couple of players that I want to get, but I don't know, man. That might be too uh it might ahead. be too risky. Might be too risky. Uh the, like I said, I like what the Liberty are doing, but it might be too risky to get too many Liberty players. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna play it safe. Wait, I'm gonna ch- check one more thing because there's a it's hard because you don't want to give out too much information. But I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with Arike Ogunbowale. I saw her play a couple of times against the Chicago Sky last year. I was mm-hmm. impressed by her game. So now she's joining Team Felipe. I got my forward and my guard. I like my chances to repeat this year. Go ahead. He, honestly, she settled into her role as the top scorer on the team. So, yeah, that was a really good pick for you. I like that. 
And two more players come off the board. Natasha Howard of the Dallas Wings. John Kel Jones of your New York. I was thinking about it. I was, I thinking was, about hoping, it I was hoping she fell. I was hoping she fell. <laughs> Laker. Uh, uh, Tori going with the Sparks. Neka Okumike. And I'm going to butcher these uh, names. Collier was on like some topics of some podcasts earlier today. I was listening to some WBA podcasts. Like one called Win a Star or something. And what, what what was up with that? They were talking about Collier, how she's going to be the main option in Minnesota. Okay. So, I mean, she's uh, a top 10 pick, so, and you got her. Yeah, so, I mean, I, maybe I got lucky with that. We'll find out. I don't know. Wow, Jacob, you picked up Elena Deladon? Girl, man. Oh, yeah. I like her. I, I don't know. I feel... Yeah, you sniped me. I was going to go her, too. She said she was feeling strong. That's okay. the best she's felt in a while. I was like, okay, I'm going to believe right. you. Uh, all right, we'll see. We'll see. I know that she's been battling some injuries and mm -hmm. all types of things that are, have not allowed her to play up to her full, full potential. But I've always liked her, uh, you know, back from the Chicago sky. So, and uh, Harry has 25 seconds. But yeah, EDD, Elena Deladon, uh, one of my favorite players. Yes, I'm not just saying that because it's the thing to say. No, she played for the <laughs> sky. I loved her I, uh, when she was playing here. And it looks like. Is that who you went with, Marina Mabry? Here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she is a pesky one right there. Oh, Marina yeah. Mabry. Yeah. That's a solid pick. I like it. I was she hoping she changed scenery, right? And she just left Dallas, I believe, right? She and got then, uh, traded from Dallas. Traded. I think right. that seems like she was in the doghouse down there and then uh, got dealt or moved to Chicago. So she's now the main option for the sky because everybody left the sky at this past off season. <laughs> so, as I was telling Jacob before the show started, uh, it looks like the sky will be rebuilding, mm -hmm. but Marina Bay maybe should be the focal point. So we got more people coming, uh, getting off the board. So eight, you know, there's not a lot of teams on the WNBA, as you guys know, so it gets really thin in a hurry. So we're going to have to get super creative when it gets time to the nitty gritty <laughs> and, and getting these picks. But yeah, all the good players that I like are coming off the board. So Harry's up on the clock now. Come on. And just to recap, Harry, Becky Hammond is that chick, Marina Mabry, and Nafis Collier. So it'll be interesting to see which direction he'll go. And I will now go into golf mode. <laughs> mm. okay. So, Jacob, how are you liking your draft so far after your two picks? I'm liking it. I think it's going to be solid. Yeah. Sabrina's on the uptick. Like I said, triple double threat. Del Dones is another one, double double threat. I just I want, I want to be able to compile those numbers. Yep. Best as I can. If I can get this one. You know, I, I have a good feeling about what's coming up for me next, man. I just I think this is tough. Okay. I don't want to get too greedy. Uh Ezzy e. Mac MacBegor going to Harry's team from the Seattle Storm. And then give me Liberty. Who's that again? Is that you or Leon? That's Leon, that right? That was me. Not oh, all that's me. you. Okay. It's... I had to get Tiara. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good so... on that one. Damn. And Mike Harvey's auto pick goes with um, Brianna Jones, who I was hoping to get as my center, but you know what That's that means. Over. You know what Why that means. Oh. I'm gonna get both Nalissa Smith of the Indiana Fever, and you know what that means, Jacob. <laughs> that means I can now get Aliyah Boston, the number one pick overall uh, of the WNBA draft. So there, okay. I got three forwards now. Yeah. So that's what I learned from last year is that uh, forwards are very important. They run up very quickly. They run up very dry in a hurry. Not to say that guards are less valuable. Definitely you need a center for sure. So I got to look for a center pretty yeah. soon as well. And of course, Corey ends up getting the girl that he wanted all along, Deanna Tarazi. Reasonable draft uh, round here, I guess in the fifth round, I think we are in. Oh, fourth round. Sorry, fourth round. So. And and on the clock is indeed Mr. Moses, who is frantically looking for another player to name. But while he we wait for him, Harry. Uh, so what? What? What was your exposure to the WNBA last year? Uh, for all intents and purposes, it it seems like viewership and interest is on the rise. I'm not sure how much attention you were paying to it last year, but what, what's your take on the WNBA? I really wasn't paying much last year, to be honest. I just uh, summers are really tough for me. I barely pay attention to baseball. I don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. WBA, but I'm going to try to do a new focus this year of trying to, uh, you know, pay attention more. Yeah, and, and it's hard, man. It's hard. You got all this attention to other the major sports, the major traditional sports. 
And then here comes a, a, a basketball league in the summer when it's right in the middle of the NBA playoffs. Oh, and it's women, which gets a bad rap. But at the same time, I mean, we all get excited. We all got excited. The numbers show that we all got excited for the women's NCAA tournament. And a lot of these women from that college uh, tournament are graduating to the WNBA. So you would think that there would be some sort of carryover. But I, I don't know what it is about the WNBA that turned people off, especially men. But I don't know. I, I don't know why it it, uh, it works well for the women's uh, NCAA championship tournament, but not for the WNBA. I know that tournaments I mean, are different basketball, than Basketball, basketball. Exactly. exactly. That's Jinx. it right there. <laughs> I, I can watch any of your teams. It, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's the busiest time of year for me. Like, I work 12-hour days, so. Yeah. No, I understand your plight. I definitely understand your plight. I mean, I'm in the same boat as you. I don't, I don't, I don't see. If anything, I do this fantasy league for the WNBA so I can keep more attention to it. Right, I right. That's why I said it. I would do it because I want to pay more attention to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, to me, it's important, man. We we, we got to have a women's league. I know that pe- some people will say, no, it's losing money. It's uh, being subsidized by the NBA. But to me, it's important because we don't want we we can't have our women continue to play overseas mm-hmm. uh, out of they desperation. Just, Go ahead. They just got a new TV deal, I believe, with Ion. I, That's I, right. I, I heard that yes. today too. You know. That's so right. It's yeah. It's about half of what ESPN was paying, which is a good sign, and it won't be like you know thrown on ESPN three at like you know random <laughs> times. So I think that's good for the league as well. Exactly. Exactly, and that's a that's a step in the right direction. Um, more exposure, more access, mm-hmm. more everything. It's um, like I said, I had fun watching it last year. Oh, I, who got Courtney Williams? Oh, okay. I was actually looking at her too. Courtney Williams going to uh, Bob Milliken's team from Indiana. But oh, Bob going back to back Sky players. That's pretty cool. Elizabeth Williams and Courtney Williams. He got the Williams sisters. What's up with Ariel Atkins? Why is she falling? We don't talk about players who have not been drafted yet, but I have no idea why she has fallen. But like I said, oh, sorry, my, bad. my bad. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's I'm all just, right, man. It's I'm just right. like looking at, like I'm just kind of weird out by it. That's all. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, and I frankly don't have a good answer for you, unfortunately. Um, I think I had her late last year. She did okay for me, since we are bringing it up. And but uh, we'll see where she goes. Oh, you, hell, she might go to you right now. She is the highest ranked player on the ESPN board at the moment. So I would not be surprised if you take her right here. No pressure. Um, One other direction. Damn it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> bitch! <laughs> you know, oh, so then Corey goes with Ariel Atkins anyways. <laughs> yeah, I, think I went he, with her. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Jacob goes with her. I was torn between both, so I, either way, I felt I was I was good. Well, that sucks. That that messed up my whole board. I was I was getting ready to uh, get Sophie. Con- I, I, you know, pipe dream, right? Pipe dream, because Corey would have been, <laughs> had a chance sorry, to get her. So still, I that uh, that's my girl, man, Sophie. I love Sophie. She you won too? me a cha- she won me you a championship too? last year. What? Sophie Cutter, man. That's my, that's my girl, She's bro. I love her. I'm in yeah, love with her. Kind of like me and Kelsey Plum. I don't like Darren Wall. I might have to come for her, man. I might have to. <laughs> my shot. <laughs> but yeah, Sophie Cunningham's good too, man. She she can shoot. Well, ah, Lordy Lord. Man, you guys took all my you guys took all my players, man. This sucks. So I'm gonna go with Diamond Miller first. Ooh, the, so I'm gonna that's solid. yeah yeah. That's I, solid, it's eh, it's kind of dangerous picking all these rookies, right? It's always dangerous, but you guys leave me no choice. Playing time, you're good. Oh, good, good. I know that there's a question about her shooting. So, oh my God, you guys took all of my favorite players. I hate you all. I really do. All right, well, I need a center. I'm going to go with the queen, Queen Egbo. I had her last year. Might, oh, be a, Jim. Darn it. might be a stretch. Might be a stretch for me to get her again this year, but I, I the center has run dry very quickly. And actually, this whole draft is going by very quickly. I almost feel bad for actually opening up one of these mules. But um, we have about four picks left for each team. Wow, Jacob, this might be the fastest draft ever. I know, right? <laughs> this is running. Who's next? Who's next? Draft started at seven. It might end at seven thirty. So I actually might have had a chance to uh, eat dinner with my with the kid and the wife tonight. So 
That's not a bad thing, brother. It's not a bad uh, thing. No, nah, but hey, we're having fun tonight. It doesn't matter. I'm having fun. I'm having a ball, man. WNBA Fantasy Draft 2023. Got to support the ladies. Oh, and then the other spiel on my soapbox there is if we don't, yeah, instead of the women having to be forced to go to Russia and Germany and Turkey and all that, yeah. have them stay home, have their families be able to travel around the country to watch their kids play. And we want to have our future daughters, hint, hint, Jacob, hint, hint, our future daughters be inspired, <laughs> inspired by greatness on the, what they see on television. And I can already hear people like rolling their eyes, like, Really, Felipe, greatness. It's the WNBA. No, nah, man. Did Diamond Shield just come off the board? I thought. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. Nice. I had her on my queue. Uh, so she's slide. gone. Uh, she's gone. <laughs> uh, I, I had a good one. Hey, yeah. She was driving. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, I had that queue and everything. Oh, man. All right. I got to figure something else out, man. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's getting really thin out here. I, I only, I only, um, researched the first 40 players because that's all the time I had last week. And I'm gonna pay for it this year, but that's all right, man. It's all right. That's what the waiver wire is for, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, but no, I am excited, uh, Jacob. What oh, are you on the clock? No, Jacob. No. What do you have look to look forward to this year for the WNBA draft? Uh, WNBA league. Sorry. Besides the, the liberty, liberty, I guess. But always besides oh, the liberty. Yeah, we, well, everything. Of course, the liberty. You know, being a New York guy, I yeah. support the women. Plus, this is like the best team we've ever had. I mean, mm -hmm. honestly, and. This could be our first finals appearance since the 90s. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of nice. You know, Brianna's coming home and Nescu's doing her thing. She's gonna come up. You know, you still have Laney, Darkwell Jones. I mean, it, it's stacked. They went out, they pulled a Brooklyn. All right. That's exactly what they did. <laughs> I think that's better than Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, yeah. it's gonna this 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 league is gonna be fun this year. Elena Del Don's coming back. You know, a whole Brittany Griner, she, she's back. I mean, it's going to see what she's going to do after, you know, the whole debacle. Um, and I'm just excited to see what can happen, man. There's so many good teams, I feel. Chicago, let's see how they're going to bounce back from losing everyone. Can Candace Parker, does she still have it? I think she does, being 37. I think, I think she's going to pull a LeBron and just put up crazy numbers. But I, I'm looking forward to this whole season just to see – where it can go, but I can see uh, Aces and Liberty Finals, as you said. Yeah. Because the Aces are still there. We got Audra Wilson, you know, Kelsey Plum, all those girls, well coached. I just it's gonna be a good season. Yeah. And uh I, well, I know Harry, you don't you don't you just admitted that you don't pay too much attention, but you you're you're joining because you want to learn. Um, I mean, is there a question you have about anything in particular about the WNBA or this fantasy league or anything in particular that you want to bring up now would be the time to do so. Uh, not really. I, I assume there's no, uh, like, like minutes limit or anything. If there is, you tell me. But no, it, no, it's yeah. uh pretty much a free for all here. Okay. Yeah. It's... No, then, then I'm, I'm good. I mean, I do enough fantasy. Uh, you know, I used to do basketball a lot in my younger years, but, uh, it just became like, you know, we're trying to do a, a full, you know, full time, you know, business. I just couldn't keep up. Yeah. But this is, you know, I've uh, dedicated time to try and do this, so I'm a little uh, excited. I'm no, I'm I'm really excited about it. To be honest, I want to, I want to follow it better. And plus, like I said before, basketball is basketball. You know, like yeah. yes, you, you want to see your favorite teams and all that, but I can watch any two teams of anything, uh, you know, girls, boys, whatever. So um, I'm excited to, for the season. And, and I, that... got, I got sniped again. <laughs> Who's liberty or death? Uh, uh, I think that's Leon, right? Good pick. Snipe me good. Took yeah. uh, Jordan Canada. She was my uh, sleeper. She was my sleeper for the draft. <laughs> Jordan uh, Canada of the LA Sparks guard. Yeah. Well, I cannot believe how fast this thing. I know, I mean, it's going fast because uh, we got people missing, but I, it's still kind of amazing that we might be done at the bo at the bottom of the hour here. Uh, seven thirty Central Time, eight Eastern, eight uh, eight thirty Eastern. Uh, Harry, you have a WNBA team yet, or no? Do I have a team that I follow? Yeah, or are you gonna be rooting for? Um, it's tough. I mean, because I'm it's tough because I'm from you know Connecticut, so you would assume that I would you know root for Connecticut. But I was always a Liberty, you know, person. Yeah. So I'll probably stick okay. with the Liberty. 
I mean, I'm, I don't like to, I don't like to change teams and stuff much. So, uh, all right. You know, I've been a New York guy my entire life. Parents are from New York. Dad's from Bronx. Mom's from Queens. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So it's always been Yankees, Jets, Knicks. I was a Whaler fan, then turned to Rangers, and then I kind of fell off mm. from hockey. Just couldn't follow everything at once. I mean, there's ten hours of wrestling a week. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so you got ten hours of wrestling minimum. Podcasting, sports, mm. like there's just not enough time in a day. And a lot. <laughs> Eventually, if I become a professional at podcasting, then maybe that goes, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath, but yeah. so it's tough, but uh, no, I'm going to stick with the Liberty. You know, uh, I think that's, you know, I, I think the last time I really followed was when Becky Hammond was around. Yeah. So, it's been, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why, you know, I have like, you know, I mean, she's, she's dope. I mean, my wife, yeah. no, she's, she's my crush. Like, I mean, I, I, I marry her. <laughs> I, if I could have two, I'd marry her right now, you know? So, <laughs> all jokes aside, I mean, she just do something about her, you know? I mean, it's like when she carries herself, you know? She got swag, she's pretty, you know, and she can ball. So, I mean, you know, loving basketball all day. That's a good way of putting it, loving basketball all day, regardless. And I know that's like the big thing. Well, the women can't even dunk, and they they don't do the things that I the men dunk. can't do. I can't I dunk can't, either. I can't dunk. I mean, I can shoot the three all day, but I can't dunk. So, I mean... The yeah. doesn't bother me. So, exactly. Not anymore. Exactly. I mean, and that's, I think that's the way people got to look at it. It's like, it's a different ball game. It's it's no different than watching uh, uh, Little League. Uh, that's a terrible example. But it's the, the difference between college and A ball, double A, triple A, baseball. Yeah, you, you don't go to a double A uh, league thinking you're going to get major league baseball mm-hmm. uh, uh, experience. And the same thing, you don't go to a WNBA league expecting NBA uh caliber of experience some same way that you don't watch a, a european basketball game regardless of men or women and expect to see the same uh nba experience it's it, it's uh it's it's you know you you have to as a fan i think you have to uh adjust your league adjust yourself a little bit and come temper your expectations as to what you're going to be seeing on a game and there are times where i'm just like i jump out of my seat just because of the uh, of the plays that i see in front of me and i get really excited and and uh, Jacob and Leon are witnesses. I literally went complete Homer, <laughs> like just not, just didn't care about the analytics. You know, I'm a big numbers guy, as you know, Harry. I didn't care about you know the analysis. I didn't care about the behind the scenes. I just saw a great Chicago Sky team on their way to win a championship and uh, uh, upsetting teams along the way that they weren't supposed to beat, and uh, just bringing some joy, not to the entire city, at least to me brought me some joy to watch them succeed and stuff so no uh, i look now am i gonna get that type of, of excitement this year with the with the sky because they're they look like they're gonna be bad this season but still uh again the reason why i i'm excited about the wmba and this wmba fantasy league is because it it does provide a good way of keeping track and keeping up with the league itself i had so much fun last year Hope everybody else had the same level of fun I had last year. Even if I even if I didn't win the championship, I w- it still would have been worth it. So looking forward to another year of, of that this season as well. And who's on the clock? It's Leon, it looks like, right? Yep. So we're down to our last two rounds. As we, wow, I cannot believe, I'm not used to it, Jacob. I'm not used to it. I was so- I usually everybody's thinking and just like, okay, who the hell am I going to pick now? Who's up next? Hey, how many picks is left? Well, I get sniped by this person. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm uh I'm just uh what do you call it? I, I'm I'm doing last minute research here. Um not that this is going to happen, but I do see that Sue Bird is still on the list. She is ranked number 154. I'm only mentioning Sue Bird because she should not be getting picked up um by anybody because uh, she's retired. Yeah, she's retired. So let's uh, <laughs> let's not do let's not do anything rash or crazy here. You will get picked up. Also on the list, just to kill some uh, dead dead airspace here, uh, is Sylvia Faust, who also retired last mm-hmm. year as well. So um, yeah, it's like no different than seeing like Barry Bonds like three years later. Uh, who is uh, uh, sorry to interrupt? Who who's giving me liberty? Is that, is that Jacob? I, I don't know because is yeah, that you? 
good snipe with Tina Charles. Oh, well, Tina Charles, yeah. She didn't yeah. get picked up yet, but I think someone that has the right cast space, they're going to pick her up. She's going to put up numbers. Former Liberty player. I remember Tina Charles, yeah. She's a UConn thought, player. That's mm-hmm. right, yeah. Okay, yep. But it was just crazy. I was looking back at that, like the old Liberty team with Weatherspoon and freaking all of them, and I'm like, whoa. You couldn't stay in Houston even back then. See, Houston always made my life hell. The Rockets, the Comets. I mean, they, yeah, they annoyed the hell out of me. You can make an all WNBA team twice over with UConn players. Oh by my itself. god! Oh man, it's just crazy. Oof. I mean, I want to see. I would love. I love to have seen Diana Taurasi and my and uh, Maya Moore one on one on pay per view, like they did mm. back in the day with Dr. J and Kareem. I would have paid 60 bucks for that. Yeah, those. Yeah. UConn definitely breed of talent, though. Both sports. Yes, definitely. UConn, yeah. UConn, UConn, UConn men shocked me this year. I didn't think I didn't think they were going to play. Uh, man, I can't. <laughs> just. I, I was speechless. I'm not even going to lie. I. Well coached. Tough team. Uh, shout out to Johnny, another UConn fan. That, that, congratulations. I just, as a Duke fan, of course, I'm just like, yeah. I got to, I got to meet uh, like, uh, like Daniel Marshall, and Donnie Marshall, and all that when I was a kid. I was. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, sure, man. man. Yeah, no, it was amazing. I got, I got to meet all those guys, and then I went to high school one town over from uh, Vin Baker, so I got to play. Really. Well, yeah, so I went to Westbrook High. Uh, probably best thing that happened to me saved my life. It's a long story. But uh, uh, so I ended up going, leaving the city, going to Westbrook. And mm. uh, Vinny Baker was ahead of me, you know, you know, at least five or six years. But, uh, you know, well-known in Osabrook. And there's a YMCA in Westbrook we all played at. And he just came down on a Sunday. And, man, let me tell you, you thought he was not, like, like you know, he's just, like, you know, a solid all-star in the NBA. Mm-hmm. He cooked us. He absolutely, it was no one could steal him. No one could stop him. <laughs> That's how much the NBA is better. It's unbelievable how good he was compared to us. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, he wasn't, you know, he was an all-star, but he wasn't like a super, superstar, you know? Yeah. Uh, he had you his know, moments. Trouble trains. No, he did. Going to Seattle drinking with Gary Payton was not a good idea, but uh, that wasn't his fault. <laughs> crazy. Trust me, I, I remember him on the Knicks. That's, that's one of my biggest things. I just remember him and I'm like, what the hell happened? He's, he's like another one. He was skilled like a Sean Kemp. You know, after a while, you're just like, is this the same guy? He used to posterize people like nobody's business. And oh, weren't they? Weren't they? They're part of the same trade, weren't they? It was a three team trade. I then. believe they. I, yeah, it was like it was ninety eight. Was it ninety eight? Was it? I, I'm not ninety eight. I'm. Yeah, wait, it was ninety eight, wasn't it? I think it was ninety eight because Sean Kemp came in like thirty pounds overweight. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like it was crazy. <laughs> Like the Rain Man wasn't the Rain Man no more. Like he was mm-hmm. the the Fat Man. Not that I should talk, but I mean he was. <laughs> he was high as shit. Yeah, everybody kind of fell apart in all that situation. I mean, that Bucks team was crazy. I know it was on WMEA, and I apologize, but just quickly, the Go Bucks ahead. at one point had Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson, Vin Baker, uh, Eric Murdoch. I mean, Eric Murdoch. He was a good shooter. You know, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I remember. I met Popeye Jones. So Vin Baker, I used to run a video store in Osabra called Tommy Cage mm-hmm. Video. And he owed a, you know, he rented a video when he was home and never brought it back. He owed like $250 in late fees. So was like, <laughs> Pop, like, you know Popeye Jones. Popeye Jones with his dome and everything. You know who mm-hmm. he is, right? Yeah. Walk in and I literally sat there. I'm like, hi. I didn't know what to say. I just didn't really expect <laughs> He gives you the video. I scan it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is Vince. He's like, yeah. He's like, uh, what's, what's the damage? And just threw hundreds at me, called it a day, it was done. Nice. I'm like, I looked at the guy, I'm like, that's Popeye Jones. Like, that's, and he's like, who? I'm like, oh, get away from me. Like, the guy didn't know. <laughs> but uh, that that Bucks team, man, was dope. Because, uh, so, and yeah, so um, they used to do a uh, a basketball camp at Old Saberg High School. Mm-hmm. And they would get all the guys from the Bucks to come down and do it. So Ray Allen was there, Glenn Robinson, it was amazing. You know, I mean, I was too old for it for young kids, but you drive by, you just sit there and stare. They do it right in the front parking lot. They set up hoops and everything. Yeah. So in the in the parking lot where the students park, it was summertime, mm-hmm. so they set up courts there to do it outside. That's, so, that's awesome. 
Yeah. People forget that Ray Allen wasn't always a shooter. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> he was special, man. Definitely uh, special. I'm trying to look because the draft already ended. Uh, a center from the Las Vegas Aces went last. So she's mm. Ms. Ms. Irrelevant or Mrs. Irrelevant. <laughs> and I already forgot her name. It's ter- uh, terrible. Stokes? Just... Is that Stokes? Kia Stokes, was it? Yeah, Kia Stokes. Uh, okay. For, for Team Milligan. I hope I didn't pronounce the name wrong. Yeah, Baba uh, from Indiana. Yeah, he uh, drafted her at the end. Uh and I'm also trying to see if there's like some sort of like maybe they don't do it for the WNBA, but just do some sort of uh, rankings uh, mm. after the draft. But I don't see anything of that sort. So I think that they only do that for like baseball and football and things like that. There's an email that comes up or anything. Uh, usually, usually it's just to recap the draft. But uh, we it did finish with it didn't even get to 7:30 uh, Central. It got it actually ended at about 7:27, 7:28 uh, p.m. tonight. Um, so we, wow, that was easily the fastest I've ever experienced a draft before. Um, but it's not surprising, but still it's kind of shocking regardless. And with that being said, uh, how do you guys feel about your teams? Uh, I know it just, uh, it just finished, but how y'all feeling about your teams after uh, the draft has been completed? Wish I could have been a little bit stronger in the end. You know, it's all about that. Uh, you know, what's the. Isn't that every draft of every kind, right? It's a, the yep. stars are easy to pick. It's the bottom, you know, four to mm-hmm. four to seven picks, depending on the length of your, mm-hmm. you know, size of your rosters. So, oh yeah, yep. It's interesting. Uh, I ended up picking three rookies out of, because I started to panic, and uh, obviously, I saw I was watching the WNBA draft, and so those names were still fresh in my mind. Which that's always a dangerous proposition to be making and and drafting all these rookies, <laughs> but uh, as as Jacob knows, I got burned this past season trusting a bunch of rookies and second year oh, players. Yeah, yeah. Kate Cunningham lost uh, lost for the year. Uh, Keegan was Keegan Murray from the Sacramento Kings. Yes. Yeah, just waiting for him to. He's gonna explode. He's gonna explode, and just kind of plateaued at about 24, 28 points per game. <laughs> You know, not good enough to start, but not bad enough to dump. So he just took up space. So, yeah, uh, always risky. Uh, oh, uh, Jalen Green. I know that he's not a rookie, but it's the second year, was it? Second or third year? So, yeah, I uh, that's my problem. I fall in love with these uh, draft classes, and uh, I can't help but because they're fresh in mind. That's the last thing I saw from any of those leagues. So I end up drafting all these rookies. And uh, I'll, t- I'll put it this way, Jacob. I don't feel as confident like I did my team last year <laughs> after the draft. So you never know. We we never know. We'll see how it goes. And like right. I said, that's what the waiver wire is for. Uh, mm-hmm. Last thoughts from you, Harry, about this whole ordeal. Uh, I mean, I think my team is solid. I, I could I could have improved in different spots. You know, the good thing about these type of drafts is they're sniping. You know, and people have the same thought process. So it's interesting how when you you have to have a secondary backup. So uh, I think for the you know minimal prep i did i think i did better than i thought i would there you go uh, and uh jacob last words from you as well <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm feeling strong i think it's going to be a nice comeback year for myself and my team and you know, give me liberty damn it yeah i guess i gotta change my name because uh courtney vandersloot did not make it back to my team so i <laughs> i gotta figure out a new name for my club here but that is, a, I mean, there's nothing else to say. I mean, it, we're, we're, we're just kind of diving into the unknown here with the women's league. This is only our second uh, year of this league. So we're still learning as we're going. We're still uh, finding out the nuances. So I look forward to another year of, uh, uh, of great women's basketball action. And if that's the case, that's a good place to stop. Harry, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I sure. really came through the clutch today. No, no problem. I wish I got on sooner. It's it just uh, sometimes <laughs> race against the clock. My whole life's about <laughs> racing against the clock to get home. So, uh, and, and then you get here, and you're still racing against the clock. Yeah, I mean, you know, being a service guy, it's you know, it's it's part of it. So, but uh, <laughs> I got at least I got here. At least I didn't say, "Hey guys, I'm going." You know, I'm not gonna be able to make it home. So, it worked appreciate out. Appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. And uh, Jacob, thanks for uh, for humoring me a little bit. I know this is a. Uh, you know awkward to talk about we're not experts on this we're just like fan- fanatic about it i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't get the support from you and leon and all those other guys Absolutely. and then uh harry joining uh uh to pick up the slack for someone else who left last year uh from last year's uh, league so i do appreciate uh, you guys moving forward with this uh it's something i've been waiting since forever and a day to have a women's 
WNBA fantasy draft platform and ESPN finally gave it to us last year. So as long as it exists, I'm, I look forward to doing more of these in the future. So with that being said, Jacob, Harry, thank you so much for joining. And I am Felipe. We'll see you all next time. Thanks. Take care. Sure.